All right, well, I'll change your plan. I uh, came down to my usual spot, my uh, railroad bridge sandbar. But uh, from this past rainstorm, man, it really filled this area in. This area is all gravel usually, and it's pretty much dry for the most part of the year. But you can tell how the water just pushed all that mud and covered all that rock. And then this right here is all cleaned up now and it pushed all of this sand and it deposited it right here. This is like a drop off, okay? I don't know if you can see that, but that's like a three foot drop off. You can tell just by, look at that. Knee deep, I don't know if you can tell, but it's knee deep right away. And it just deposits, it's real soft, all black sand. So, I don't even have to really dig with much effort. Just uh, got to uh, classify, minimal classification, really. And uh, looks like I'm going to get some weather. So, I'm going to try to keep it going as long as I can before I get chased out by rain. I don't know, they're talking. Looks like there's a uh, rain possibly over there. Uh, by the reservoir anyhow further upstream But uh, yeah, this is it But you can see all that sand it just deposited all right there on this drop-off So yep, there's where I'm getting all my material from running several buckets through my sluice here Perfect spot. I made this spot last year and uh, uh, cut out a trench and now this is kind of like how it goes now in this spot. Really nice. But, um, yeah, so let's see. Let me show you real quick. Nice. And it's flowing fast enough where I can do big scoops. And it's washing it down real nice. So we're getting good. We're getting good wash. I'm getting good black sand. I mean, it over it overrides the riffles a little bit, but it clears out pretty quick. So I'm not worried about that. Plus, I'm going over two, four sets of miner's moss and riffle, plus a little tiny stuff in the middle, as you guys know. But, yeah, looks like we're doing really nice. Off on the main flow. I'll tell you what, that's deep right there. I mean, if it's three feet right off, maybe four feet off the bank, that's got to be at least 10 feet deep. Easy. Go sniping down there, but that'd be freaky. Oh, up, 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 sorry, sorry. But look at that, it just flows real nice and shallow right here. Real beautiful, perfect. Perfect for a sluice. This is my spot, you know. And I bet you a lot of you are wondering, did you do any test pans? No, I didn't, because I know there is gold on this gravel bed. Um, now, will I score? Who knows? But I'm thinking with a sand deposit like that, that's a good chance I will. Okay, well, I'll let you guys go. Heavy pans, let's run some more buckets. Later.